Hey there pen friends, welcome to the channel again. It's your host Amy from Pen Venture and I'm here with a review on Lambrou pens, aka classic pens. If you're in the fun pen hobby, for sure you heard of Lambrou pens or classic pens. They are regarded as being grail level pens. In this video we will review the LB6 fun pen from Lambrou pens. But first let's start with some information regarding the brand. The person behind Lambrou pens is Andreas Lambrou. He is collaborating with a very known craftsman artist on the name of Paul Rossi in order to design and create very exquisite writing instruments. The brand initially started under the name Classic Pens, but it has changed to Lambrou Pens. It features writing instruments that are either made in collaboration with other brands, like for example, Parker or Sailor, in very exquisite materials. It usually means taking of existing iconic design and giving it a more artistic touch. And here we can talk about the material which identifies Lambrou pens and that is diffusion bonded acrylic. Enough with the facts, let's open the box, see what we have inside and experience the LB6. The Lambrou pens LB6 is following the LB5 made in a collaboration with Sailor based on the King of Pen. At that time, I wasn't able to find an LB5 selling on the secondary market. So I got into contact with Andreas Lambrou and asked him if he had any of them in stock or selling. Apparently he didn't have any of them left. So we went into the discussion about an LB6, only one, but two of them. And I went with the blue and red. The entire LB6 collection is named Virtus and it came in six available colors. I will go through all of them and I have them right here. We have Passion Flame Red, Celestial Space Blue, Essence Diamond Brown, Harmony Forest Green, Integrity Amethyst Mauve, Humanity, marble white and i went with the two distinct colors the red and the blue being that they are the most popular of them all well in the meantime i sold the blue one and remained with the red one and we have here the passion in flame red diffusion bonded acrylic let's get it going this is how the pen arrives now let's get to open the box and initially we will find a certificate of authenticity and lifetime warranty for the pen. Then we have the documents for the serial number. Lambrou Pens LB6 Virtues Collection Composition Passion. The distinct and exclusive handcrafted writing instrument is issued in a worldwide limited edition of 10 art pens. This is number 00. That means this is an artist proof pen. More about that later in the video. We have the signature of Andreas Lambrou and also Paul Rossi, the artist behind the whole pen. Inside we have a very nice wood, luxurious lacquered box. And this is a clamshell box. The pen is resting safely on this pen rest. Let's move the box away and analyze the pen. This is the Lambrou pen's LB6 Virtues Collection Passion in flame thread diffusion bonded acrylic. Let's analyze every design feature of this pen. Then we will put it side by side with other pens in order to see the overall measurements. And in the end, we will have a writing sample. And also I will share you a little bit about the story, how I acquired this pen and what are my current thoughts regarding this exact pen. The LB6 series is featuring flat ends, but they are not rough. They are very well polished and look amazing. Then we have this clip, which is handmade in sterling silver by Paul Rossi. Every edge of the clip is handmade. We have the design of a flame burning on this clip. It has a lot of features 
and it's quite rigid you can use it and the thing is with silver you could bend a clip which is made out of silver and it's not spring loaded just like this one but apparently there is a way of tempering the silver in order to give it a sort of elasticity and this is done by Paul Rossi himself so I find this feature being very very exquisite and also practical we have two options you can choose to have the pan body either with facets or without facets on the lb6 i ordered mine with facets it's featuring 11 facets that are handmade without any tools by paul rossi this makes each and every pan individual none of the 10 that are made in each color are the same so you get a bespoke exclusive writing instrument each number of the limited edition moving forward we have the cap band which is a main focal point of this fountain pen it's made out in sterling silver it has a lot of information on it we have lambru and the logo of the company we have lb6 which is the name of the model as i said before this is a virtuous collection and we have passion for the virtuous in flame red which is the name of this red color under the word passion we have sterling silver 925 and we have the limited edition number 00 of 10. that makes this pen a artist proof what is an artist proof well it is usually the term given to the first pen of the collection which is taken and showed and it's usually what we call the prototype well this is the prototype in red of the lb6 collection in order to uncap the pen we use two complete turns and we are greeted by a very large interesting and beautiful nib and this is a size 8, 18 karat gold nib made by Bach for Lambru pants. It's engraved with the Lambru logo and the name of the company, 18 karat gold. And this is a medium size. It's fueled by a huge ebonite feed, which I simply adore. This has a very rich and consistent ink flow. The section of the LB6 is designed to be a bit more chunkier and it has this design feature that will prevent your fingers from slipping towards the nib it is slightly flaring out from the nib towards the cap treads here we have the silver ring and then the cap treads which if you ask me they are a bit more accentuated that you might expect from a funnel band let's see the barrel of the pen which runs straight there is no tapering in the barrel this is where we get to see the diffusion bonded acrylic interesting word let's explain what is diffusion bonded acrylic sheets of resin that are placed on top of each other and those sheets are put under pressure and temperature and they are bonded or let's say welded together to form a solid material which is very resilient and it has a visual aspect like nothing else the barrel of the pen runs straight and we have this handmade facets by paul rossi which are simply sublime they are very elegant and discreet and they capture the light so well the end knob it's a bit more accentuated and longer than the finial as you can probably see it's a bit more tapering towards the end let's see what we have as a filling mechanism a cartridge converter it comes equipped with a schmidt k5 converter many of you maybe expect a very fancy filling mechanism considering the price point of this pen but i don't mind a cartridge converter because it's practical 
Another thing that I want to point out, this is how thick is the actual material. This is how you can add a bit of weight to your pan and also have a very nice writing experience. The entire weight of the pan is evenly distributed on the whole length of the barrel and the cap and you feel this pan in writing as being very nimble and very likable. And I almost forgot about the Easter egg right here you will find two engravings AP which means artist proof on the opposite side we have PR and you know that all artists are signing their own art pieces and this is where Paul Rossi decided to sign this pen let's put the pen side by side with other pens in order to see the dimensions and proportions then let's head over and have a writing sample with this pen and in the end I will share you a bit of story regarding this one and also my thoughts after using this pen for well over two years. Here we have the LB6 standing next to other pen models from left to right classic pens LB5, retro 51 rollerball, scribo feel, lambro pens LB6, Visconti homo sapiens pen venture exclusive, and Lamy All-Star. Now let's have some measurements. We have the pen sitting capped at 153 millimeters, uncapped 140 millimeters. The grip diameter is 13 millimeters. The overall weight fully inked and capped 41.5 grams. The weight of the pen body inked 26.5 grams. Lam LB6 in Passion Flames Red. The ink is Pelican Edelstein Aquamarine. The nib is 18 karat gold medium very pleasant nib with a hint of a feedback now let's see how wet is this nib i don't think it's a gusher but it's pretty wet and really really consistent although it's been advertised as being semi-flex i don't advise you to push it any harder than this it has a bit of a line variation, but nothing crazy in those regards. The nib performs nice. I enjoy it. It has a specific feel being such a big nib. And I do like really big nibs and how they write. Now let's try a reverse. And this is a medium. And in reverse is a quite quite smooth fine nib if you need it and now for the ultimate test in regards of how well is a nib adjusted this is how the pen is writing under its own pressure I hope you enjoyed the writing sample with the Lambrou pens LB6 now I would like to share you some thoughts regarding this pen after owning it for the past two years, when I placed my order for the red and blue LB6, I wasn't that pleased with the overall shopping experience. I faced a lot of delays. And when I say delays, it was well over a few months, probably around a year plus. I must check the emails to see. After waiting that long, my two specific numbers that I ordered was not ready. I decided to accept the offer of receiving both artist proof. I'm happy that I took the opportunity to own both artist proof. As I told you, the blue one has been sold. That one was equipped with a fine nib. This one is equipped with a medium nib. I've used this pen for the past two years. I've enjoyed it a lot. It's easy to clean. It's very, very handy and I'm not scared of using it. I take this pen with me 
all the time. It's practical, you can use it. It's not a small pen. It demands a certain price and it will, but it will never be that popular as the LB5, which is the most known grail pen of all times in regards of modern collectors of fondo pens. I'm happy about getting this one. I'm not sure if I would ever be able to let it go, but time will tell. I think this is it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did so, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the Pen Venture YouTube channel and down below you will find links for my website, my social media accounts, and also my emails if you want to get in touch with me. My name is Emi and I look forward to seeing you next video.